the seventh edition would be different. Um, expect the unexpected. It is. It will be unpredictable. So it's one day to go, and we have been waiting patiently and impatiently guys i for one i feel like i have already built a castle in my head with the amount of tension that's been building up since the announcement of the launch date of the big brother ninja season seven show that's going to be tomorrow and sunday guys um there's been a lot of interesting things happening online this week especially the interesting brain teasers um, that's been popping up here and there courtesy of the organizers of the show guys and one of such brain teasers that i really loved and i thought hey why not bring it on here you know so that us fsfg family also talk about it is and um, the question of if you were big brother if you were biggie for one day what would be your biggest command what will you do i'm just paraphrasing the question but that was what the question meant guys it sent a lot of people into the most insane mood <laughs> I must confess and guys for me i felt like i became twisted all of a sudden because i went into savage mode i went into petty mode i started thinking about the most insane things and i'm going to be sharing all of that on this video with you all i'm also going to share some of the suggestions that people who um engaged that question you know also recommended so just watch to the end of this video as we get into it hey welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the T. yes if this is your first time um, watching my video if this is your first time clicking to watch thank you for doing exactly that but please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button to become a part of this family and um, just do exactly what you see on your screen follow me across my socials and um, if you always want to receive a lot of my videos it's quite easy simply search for frankly speaking with gloria elijah on youtube or hit the white bell button it's called the post notification bell whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to receive a lot of those videos and um another interesting thing guys tomorrow is saturday you know what we do on here and um, we are going to be having our fswg saturday youtube live stream but it's not going to be lengthy as usual all right because we know that something huge is about to happen tomorrow it's going to be the first launch day of the big brother ninja season seven show all right which is going to be kicking off by 7 p.m wat so as usual our youtube live stream is by 3 p.m wat we're going to have it for a very very brief moment probably an hour or an hour 13 minutes all right there's something important that we need to discuss before the show goes live tomorrow so please do not miss out now one last thing i just want to give a huge shout out to the 5k shop for this beautiful top that i am wearing this is not a paid promotion yeah they did not pay me to do this but i had to give them a shout out because their customer service is top notch yes i bought this top i bought two of it and i am totally loving it already i am loving the color the color is matching with my beautiful sheila plant over here so if you love it just check them out on instagram and purchase yours so as i mentioned earlier when that question popped up within the week oh my god the responses from people just want to show that a lot of people really want the order of this new season to be all about violence and guys i'm gonna be frank with you i am no exception <laughs> exception at all i really want to see violence because sometimes i feel like in the course of the season every season of big brother ninja it happens the housemates tend to become suddenly laid back you know it's like they feel the sense of accomplishment like oh yes i'm in biggest house now so what's up what, what's happening you know that kind of thing it's like they feel like there's no need to entertain us the viewers anymore it's like they just lose that fighting spirit it happens it happens sometimes in week five sometimes in week seven you know especially towards the end of the of the season and it's so bad that some of them even forget that they are in a competition they even forget that they're supposed to be playing their game they forget that they're even supposed to be entertaining us the viewers they forget that they're supposed to be creating content that is when you see most of these housemates they begin to sleep during the day even when they have tasks to prepare for some of them get so lazy and boring they just want to just lay back and wait you know and see whether they're going to be evicted on sunday or not or some of them they are so confident that they know that okay fine i'm not going anywhere so they just decide not to do anything anyways Here's what I'll do if I were to be Big Brother for one day. I will instruct the ninjas to take away all the duvets, take away all the bed sheets, 
take away all the pillowcases, including the pillows as well, take away all the towels, take away all the dressing rooms that belongs to the housemate. No exceptions, including the head of house, each and every one of them. Take away every item of material, of clothing, whatever it is that has the potential of, you know, providing warmth to the housemate. Now, after taking away all of those items, I will now increase the AC to the highest. Ah, listen, I will increase the AC to the highest. I will ensure that the entire mansion is freaking cold. Guys, please though, don't say that this glory is very, very evil and twisted. Nah, this is all about teaching the housemate a lesson. Yes, to not be too laid back in my mansion. You're in my house. So you're supposed to entertain me. You're supposed to abide by my rules. You're supposed to create content. I mean, you're supposed to give the, the, the viewing audience a reason to vote for you. You're supposed to give the viewers a reason to want to renew their DSTV subscription, their Showmax subscription. You're supposed to give the viewers something to, to be happy about. So if you're not serving, then <laughs> you get served in return. Now, secondly, secondly, still on a mission to eliminate every form of boredom from my mansion as big brother, acting big brother, yes, for one day, I will lie to the housemate. I will deceive them. I will tell them that I will be making a big reveal of myself, of my identity on a Thursday. Guys, I choose Thursday because Thursdays is usually the day of their wager task presentation. So I will tell them that that will be their wager task of the week. If they impress me by everything that I see, then they win their wager. If I am not impressed by everything that they do to entertain me, then they lose their wager. Trust me on this one. The housemates, they're going to bite hook, line and sinker because Big Brother is very, very mysterious. It has never happened before in the history of Big Brother Ninja. Nobody knows who Big Brother is. There's speculations, but there's no fact. Yes, nobody knows who Big Brother is. So the housemates are going to definitely go ahead to prepare. You know how they will do things. They will go extra. They will bring their best foot forward. They will cook. They will rehearse um, plays. They will rehearse songs. They will even create songs. They will even probably create maybe a fashion show. They will go all out for it. They will do everything. And then on that very day, <laughs> guess who the big brother will be? The ninjas! <laughs> Guys, it's gonna be the ninjas. No caps. It's gonna be the ninjas. Now, here's the other twist to it. The housemates, even after discovering that big brother has pranked them, they will have no choice. They have to present all that they have prepared for, right? To entertain and welcome big brother. So they will have to do it. The, the, the ninjas, they're going to sit down there and watch the housemates present all of those things that they have prepared to entertain Big Brother. Now, guess what? At the end of it all, if the ninjas in unison, you know, give the housemates a thumbs up that they actually enjoyed everything, then they win their wager. But if the ninjas shake their head that they do not like it or, ah, they were not entertained at all, then, I'm sorry, the housemate. They lose their wager. <laughs> this next one is courtesy of one of the feedbacks um, that someone responded to that question with. So this person was saying that, oh, if they were Big Brother for one day, they will publicize the diary sessions. Yes. So this is how I'm going to tweak that idea. It's actually a very, very good idea, but I'm going to tweak it that if I were to be Big Brother in one day, I would look out for a particular week that the house will have some crazy, crazy tension. Of course, we know that from the week one of the show, everybody's going to be acting goody two shoes. They're going to be spreading love and light here and there. We know that that's all fake. Yes, probably from week two or week three or maybe week four, there's going to be tension. There will be people that have automatically discovered that, okay, I'm never going to be friends with this person, right? There's going to be warring parties. There's going to be competitiveness amongst the housemates. There's going to be tension in the air, especially also after the first eviction show. Guys, we don't know when that's going to happen, but normally after the first eviction, it's usually a shocker to the rest of the housemates because nobody has seen anybody's strategy. Nobody knows what anybody is up to. Nobody knows who deserves to leave at that point in time or not. So probably during that particular period, I as Big Brother, I am going to publicize 
the diary session of all the housemates. There's going to be a speaker in the main house or probably in the garden. Yeah, I think in the garden. Yeah, there's going to be a speaker in the garden that's going to be, you know, exposing every single thing that each and every one of the housemates are saying in the diary session. And they are not allowed to whisper the knowledge of that to their fellow housemates. Anybody that does that will automatically receive a strike. And they should keep quiet. Nobody should say, Bim! everybody should keep quiet as they are hearing what their fellow housemate is saying about them in the diary room. Then, after the diary session, I as big brother, I will chill back. Hmm? I will handle my cup of tea. <laughs> and I will watch the violence unfold. <laughs> I will watch the house burn. I will watch people fight. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Listen, I'm having so much fun doing this. I'm having so much fun. And I know that a lot of you are saying, Ah, Gloria, we can't, guys. Don't blame me. Just don't blame me. I really want this season of Big Brother Ninja to be very, very rich with content. And I strongly believe that Biggie has a huge role to play in making this one a huge success. I believe that Biggie can bring so many twists and turns, so many pranks on the housemates that even though the housemates you know, end up being boring with the audience. We won't even regret watching the show. Anyways, moving on to the fourth thing I would love to do if I were to play the role of Big Brother for one day. Guys, hey, I bring to you an amazing, amazing idea and suggestion. There should be nomination campaigns. Guys, this is what I mean. So once again, I as Big Brother, I will pick a week when there's a lot of tension. I'll pick a week when I am very much aware that most of the housemates, they've been warring against each other. I'll pick a week when I am fully aware that most of these housemates, they've created factions, they've created carcasses, they've created cliques, you know, impenetrable cliques. They've created, you know, relationships that, you know, hey, I know who I'm voting for already, I know who I'm nominating already, you know, that kind of thing. I'll just pick a week that's tension filled, and it's gonna be on a Sunday after the live eviction show not immediately after or at least just give them maybe 30 minutes or thereabout to get over the shocker of the um, live eviction show so just when they think that they are safe now you know waiting for the next day for head of house challenge live nomination show i'm now going to call them to the lounge and announce to them that there is something called nomination campaign every single housemate needs to literally beg Mm, they have to beg, like literally beg, beg, beg their fellow housemates to not nominate them. Now, the reason I bring this is we know that season by season this happens. Every Sunday after the live eviction show, these housemates, they begin to kiss ass. They begin to follow each other about in the house. They begin to act all goody two shoes sometimes, you know, because they want to be in the good books of their fellow housemates. They don't want to offend anybody because they are fully aware that Monday is head of house challenge and there's also the live nomination show. So they want to stand a chance to be chosen as the deputy head of house and, you know, to not be nominated by their fellow housemates. So in that light, I'm going to give them a free hand. Beg, campaign for yourself. Like openly beg, or not all those subtle, subtle begging. I mean, I'm talking about a situation where a fellow housemate walks into the kitchen and sees his or her enemy, and then walks up to, up to the person and is begging the person that bra, no vex, so that thing I did to you, no vex. I beg, no nominee. The instruction is going to be that every single housemate must beg. Now, this last one is not 100% my idea. Yes, it's partially um, an idea from one of those people that engaged with the brain teaser online. So this person was actually positing that, oh, if they were to be big brother for one day, they would lie to the housemates that there's been a technical glitch with the cameras, that nobody is watching them. They should just feel free to do whatever they want to do. And um, then, <laughs> whilst the housemates are just being in their full elements, then we will now get to see they are real personalities on our own that that is when we will now see the real reality tv show that the housemates will be putting up now i see that as an amazing idea but i am thinking this housemate might you know sense that something fishy is going on so i decided to tweak that idea this is what i'll do instead i'll announce to the housemates that lights out will be by 7 p.m 
on a particular day because of um, a technical glitch in most of the equipment in the house. I'll tell them that the camera has been affected, the microphone's been affected. I'll tell them that even some of the appliances in the house has also been affected. There's been some sort of um, power outage or something like that in the house. So um, the housemates, of course, they're going to buy it, yes, because, hey, it's happened before. It happens before. I think it happened um, during the Pepperdam Gang season. Yes, so it's happened before. So I'm sure that they're going to buy it. Now, whilst the housemates are thinking that for three hours, all of these things will be sorted out, guys, us, the viewers, we will be watching them. Of course, the house is going to be plunged into darkness, but there's going to be um, some sort of, I don't know if it's infrared lights, right, that will enable us, the viewers, to see how sneaky these housemates could get when they think nobody is watching and then that for sure is going to give us a realistic reality tv show moment yes i i am i am hoping that we will now get to see these housemates in their real element we'll get to see their unfiltered personalities guys i don't know about you but i think that that's going to be huge it's going to be a raw moment for reality tv you know what this is where i'm going to be ending my own twisted biggest plans for this video okay so i'm just going to throw the questions back at you if you were to be biggie for one day what will be your biggest command what will you do just go ahead and let us know in the comment section below and i will see you guys tomorrow saturday by 3 p.m wat guys do not miss out it's going to be one hour of bliss thanks for watching and have an amazing amazing day bye